Yo, what is going on guys, it's Dave here and in today's video as you can see it's kind of a little bit of a different one for the uh, for the main channel. Basically, it's kind of weird saying it but I have only now just found out with my Radeon software I can literally change my whole game, alright? Um, and the main, obviously, the main game which I play on this on this channel in general, to be fair, is obviously Warzone. Um, and literally, I I saw this last night. Like, I obviously, found out about it because somehow I just I just didn't know about it because obviously I knew I knew about Nvidia and stuff like that um, and their filters and that's absolutely crazy. Um, and I was just thinking like, why why haven't Radeon got theirs? So I literally I typed it up on YouTube and it literally came up and I was like, wait. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> um, and it was kind of mad. Uh, I kind of I kind of spun out, do you know what I'm saying, in my brain. I was like, wait, I've had a PC for this long and I, I didn't even know about this. Um, so I was like, you know what? I think I need to create a video on this because if I'm, if I'm you know, m myself not understanding and I didn't even acknowledge that I could do this, then there's, there's got to be a lot of people, you guys, who have clicked on this video, um which don't know about it so yeah i'm gonna run step by step to uh how how to actually get this on your computer if you have an amd radeon um graphics card okay before we get into this video if you if you guys are new to the channel and this, if this video has brought you to this channel feel free to hit the subscribe button all right we're nearly on 400 subscribers if you guys like um call of duty warzone you know type of content then yeah this is the channel for you guys all right um but uh yeah enough said let's get into this guys all right, so this is the page which you want to come to. I will leave the link down in the description for you guys. It'll be straight at the top. Um, but yeah, so this is what you want to want to go to. Sorry. So all you got to do is just go to download. Here we go. So you download now straight away. I've already downloaded it, so I don't actually know what it's going to do. Um, open file. Adrenaline. You would install. Just like that. I'm going to do it. Screw it. I don't know what it's going to do, but I just want to show you guys, you know, stools, everything like that. And then what you want to do is click the top one. It'll be a recommended version. Everybody's going to have a different one if, you, if you're obviously watching us at a different time. Um, but currently, yes, you do want to do that. And once you click that, um, it will literally, obviously, at the bottom right -hand corner, just install it, and then uh, yeah, I will show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so once you've installed that, you will come to a straight up page just like this. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it comes up with all of my recent, you know, games which I've played. Obviously, COD is my my main game. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like that. Last played 52 mins this week. Uh, average FPS 74, which is meh. Okay. Um, obviously, it shows you at the top right hand corner your current version. Um, and look, there's actually an update available. So I'm gonna actually going to do that in a second. Um, but yeah, so it basically, it obviously keeps you on your toes with this, with this whole application. You've got your CPU here. So it tells you obviously what that is. Um, you've got the GPU there as well. And then if you want to go into here, it will literally it will say what games you can actually like really really be able to run. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so as you can see here, Seven Days to Die, banging Apex, banging. You know what I'm saying? All of these are ticked. Um, and if you click on them, actually it actually goes to a certain site. I don't really. Okay, well, um, I'm wrong there. Anyway, let's come off that. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, look, it even even has some recording, uh, other recording softwares which you can um, download. Uh, you got more graphics cards as well, which you can upgrade to. Um, but yeah, the thing I didn't actually realize about this is that there is a record and stream section as well. So you can literally record straight up, um, and you can live stream straight to any platform. So that is that's absolutely crazy. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, I'm sure I will actually try and do a video on that. And actually, just do it like a little test stream. Um, but yeah, it's it's banging. So this is the main thing why you clicked on this video. Okay, so you go to gaming, right? Um, you pick whatever game you want. So f obviously, for me and for the title of the video, I'm gonna purposely put it for Warzone. 
So we click on the war zone, double tap. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go to full screen. I should have been on that anyway in the first place. Um, but uh, yeah, so here we are guys. So I, what well, most people tend to go with gaming, eSports or power saving. Um, it is originally on standard. So for you guys, I would definitely recommend going to custom um, because with custom, you can literally put it at, at, at anything you want. Um, so you can literally just play around, play around with it. That's what I was doing last night. I literally went into a planet game and I was just literally configuring everything step by step, you know, just to see how actually, well, how much big of a difference it actually made. Um, so yes, yeah, so you've got the sharpness here. Obviously, you know what sharpness is. <clears throat> it's kind of mad. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to load up Warzone right now and I'm going to show you the differences. So, we come to the main home screen. As you can see already, the colours are a lot more vibrant. Alright. So I load up Warzone. Look, vibrant as hell. The colours are just so much brighter. Um, okay, so... That's so what we're going to do first. We're just going to compare um, just the home screen at the moment, okay? So if we open up um, Radeon, okay? I don't think you actually need to keep the whole application open unless you, um, like if you do like something like uh, anti-lag, basically it's going to be able to, well, it's going to make you restart your whole game. Because, um, yeah, anti-lag's obviously... In, in the name, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really good to have on. Um, you got Radeon Boost. So that's, yeah, movement-based dynamic resolution. Um, it, it kind of, I don't know. I don't like it personally, all right? So that, that's what I would say. I would definitely try and just configure these three here. And um, these, these are definitely one of the main ones to actually use. Um, you got image sharpening as well. I would definitely, definitely recommend that. Like if I turn that off right now, Look, as you can see, it's back to normal, okay? However, if I put that on, boom, show it to 50. You can see an instant difference, right? If I put it up to 100, like, look how sharp that is. Like, it's it's absolutely crazy. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to we're gonna jump into a plunder game. Because this is where I actually managed to configure all my settings. So I'm just going to show you guys what it actually looks like in game. Yeah, so as you can see here, look, the game looks, it looks beautiful, honestly. My game's only lagging because for some reason when my stream lags, it actually makes my game lag. So it's, it's kind of annoying. But, but yeah, so if I turn the sharpness up to 100, you can see here, um, we're just going to, yeah, we're just going to test out the brightness of the side. Okay. So... This was originally on, I think it was like 6,000, yeah, so, yeah, look at this, this is, it's a lot brighter. If I go to, like, contrast, I can turn it down, I can turn it up. Obviously, like, look at that, like, whoa, that is, that is bright in my eyes. Watch the is there someone sniping up here? <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. I'm sorry, pal. Um, but yeah, I feel like personally the. The color temperature really, really makes a difference in the game. Like it, it's just really nice on my eyes, and you can still still see a, f a fair distance, and it just makes the um, makes the game a lot more dimmer for you guys, you know. So what I want to actually do, <coughs> oh, I'm just trying to uh, kill myself, but okay. Let's go. Because what I want to do is, you know, with the the glares which Enemy you get in AI certain up. buildings, I kind of want to test that out. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I kind of want to test that out. Because I actually have to test that out. So let me just go to one of these buildings. Sun. I think I might have actually fixed it, I'm not gonna lie. Because look, look at that. This looks oh my days, this looks vibrant as hell. Yo okay. Yeah, look, I can I can fully see out of these windows now. Because originally, right, okay, so let me just take down I think it's the saturation. I don't know, maybe it isn't. It's one Walking of these settings point. which which change it. I am not 100% sure what setting it is, but you guys can obviously clearly see that it is clear as day. Let's boost up to 100 again with the sharpness. Like it looks nice, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know. It's not really, it's not really needed. You know what I'm saying? Maybe put it onto 60. 60 is quite nice. I feel like. But yeah. The main setting which I would normally recommend for this um, this video mainly is the color temperature. Like I said, play around with this guys honestly because like everybody's got a preference um, and especially with Radeon, like it is, well, like I said, you can you can literally put it to custom. You can put gaming if you want, you can put esports if you want. Um, I actually haven't tried them out personally so I don't even know, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is Enemy probably UAV the best, best for me. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to just make this video guys because I had no clue about this like genuinely I had no clue um, And it's it's kind of crazy. I'm just gonna leave that um, it's, it's literally kind of crazy because I've been playing this game for a very long time now Especially on PC and um, yeah, I, n I literally never never heard about this so uh, yeah I hope this video really helps you out guys and um, because honestly me finding out about this has literally changed my gameplay completely. Um, it's just literally the visual side of things, you know. Um, and you know, like I said, with the window there, there's no glare. There's literally no glare. Like there's the tiniest little bit. Um, it doesn't compete with Nvidia, <laughs> but um, you know, if you've got a Radeon, um, you know, graphics card, you can literally do this straight from your PC. Um, and all you got to do is download that software um, driver on the internet. And I, like I said, I'll leave that link down in the description for you guys to go check out. Um, but uh, yeah, if this video was really helpful for you guys, feel free to hit the like button um, and to, well, to get the video out to more people. Okay. Um, and feel free to hit that subscribe button, like I said, when any on 400 subs. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.